Uh, what, what does the story of Jesus Christ do for us ourselves? And thinking about the world in general and the story of Christianity in general, we've invited Sarah Jane Bishop. What a surname! Good to see you, Sarah. Hey. Are you a bishop? My last name's Bishop. Your last name's Bishop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Rotorua and Kawarau, up okay. in the North Island. Oh, and you're new to the South Island? Yeah, I'm about, I've been down here about a week so far and I'm still walking around with my tourist map, finding all the streets. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you find Christchurch streets? Um, yeah, getting used to it. <laughs> getting used to it. I'm a country girl, so it's going to take a little bit, I think. Well, there you go. We've got a country girl from the North <laughs> Island and she's cruising Christchurch streets in search of what? Why have you come? I've um, moved down here to be a youth worker yeah. okay. at one of the local churches. Okay. Yeah. And why is that? Um, because it's the only option God presented me with. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> basically. No, yeah. I just basically mm. got to the point in my life when I really just wanted to serve God mm -hmm. through working with young people, did a prayer about it, wasn't very specific mm -hmm. at all, mm -hmm. and um, God chose Christchurch. Okay. Now, uh, God loves perfect people. Yeah, I guess so. He loves everyone, so loves imperfect you. as well. Yeah, yeah. He loves you too. Yeah, okay. So oh, yeah, definitely. You're a Christian? Yes. Okay. Better being a Christian than not a Christian? Oh, yeah, for sure. Why? Unconditional love. Okay. Yeah. And why? Because um, there's times in life when you get hurt, okay. you get um, challenged with mm -hmm. a lot of things, mm -hmm. and it's just such a blessing to know that we can go to a Saviour who loves us no matter what. Mm -hmm. So when you think about God, do you think about God as being like uh, Jesus or supreme being way off in the sky somewhere? Or you, what picture is in your mind when you think about God? Um, there's definitely times when you think of God as being the most powerful, amazing thing. Mm -hmm. And there's times when you can see God just sitting right beside you on your couch at home or at the table with you as soon as you open his word. Mm -hmm. He's right there around us every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Kyle, what do you think about God? What do I think about God? Yeah, yeah. I think he's a pretty good bloke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You, you told me I had to be politically incorrect today to, to just be on yeah, the edge a little bit. Yeah. I think God's fantastic. I think what Sarah said is, is yeah. pretty much right on. You know, yeah. he, he's, he's this awesome most powerful mm. being that created the world and but he's also got that loving tender touch to be able to take care of each mm. and every one of us individually yeah. but what would you say Sarah if you meet a young person they say look story of Christianity story of King Arthur angels singing in the sky at Christmas time yeah right you're trying to tell me that's a real story that's just, great because yeah. if they're questioning it then they're starting okay. to think about God mm. so if young people get to the point when they start mm. to question even if they're challenging you on it it's an mm. invitation to talk about God and that's just mm. a blessing okay. okay yeah and what kind of do you say when they say that um, or what would you say like if someone says to you hey come on you know what would you say to them um, well, I just um, ask them to join me and discover yeah. it, find out. I don't have all the answers. Okay. I don't um, know what God means to other mm -hmm. people. I only can share what God means to me mm -hmm. and the, how he's worked in my life. Okay. Now, I yeah. guess if someone wanted to know more about King Arthur, yeah. they'd have to do what Kyle and I did this week, which is look up Wikipedia on Google. <laughs> <laughs> And if somebody wanted to know more about Jesus Christ, what could they do, Sarah? I guess they could always Google it. <laughs> they could Google yeah, it? Yeah, they could Google yeah, it. Okay. I'm sure they'd get some information. Yeah, it'd be lots of um, information. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think it's definitely, yeah. when you see someone, you meet someone, and there's something that draws you to them, mm. I guarantee you it's God. Oh, okay. So when you do meet someone like that, yeah. ask. Ah, okay. Mm. And it's in the dialogue? Yep, and, and it's in the mannerisms, it's how you yeah. interact. Yeah. It's just a unexplainable mm. joy that you see in mm. someone. Mm. Well, we're delighted to have Sarah Jane with us today and to think that she's going to be around Christchurch for the long distant future. If you've got a question about God, you might like to talk to Sarah one day. Who knows?